here we go. I am playing against uh, Equinox Gaming. He has sent me a challenge. His decks are... Oh, my opponent's telling me good luck. His decks are Baby Blacephalon and ADP Spiritomb. I've banned his Obstacoon deck. And he banned my um, Malamar deck. So I've got Picaram and ADP Zation. And I'll see if I made the right uh, metagame choice here. I'm starting off with ADP Zation. Excuse me. And I won the coin flip. So yes, I will elect to go first. And hopefully I get that turn to... Ooh, no base Pokemon. I get that turn to Altered Creation. All right, here we go. Jirachi start. No supporters, but hey, we, uh, we've we got the Jirachi, so maybe we'll get a supporter. And hey, maybe we'll get some energy attachments off Intrepid Sword, but we've got three, <laughs> three energy, so who knows? Mm. All right. Um, we'll just thin out the deck. And it looks like my opponent has decided to start with uh, Blacephalon. Um, let's see what else we've got. So we've got the 280p, two more Zation V. We've got the Dedene, all our Metal Saucer. All right, and we've got Tool Scrapper just in case. Uh, well, actually, is my opponent playing? Uh, no, they're not playing the uh, Ultra Beast uh, tool, so we're good on that. Stellar Wish. Quick Ball. Mm. And yeah, we'll attach here. And we'll Intrepid Sword. There we go. So we've got some supporters going on here. So what I'm going to hope for um, is I get the ADP off of the Quick Ball. Um, I attach that energy right there and I um, energy switch that metal energy off of there and just go for a turn to alter creation. Now, if my opponent gets, well, you know, I, I would like to get the energy switch off of a stellar wish, but uh, of course there's always a chance that my opponent's going to uh, you know, prevent me from doing that. He's gonna knock out my Jirachi turn one. And here we go. He's got the baby Blacephalon. And with a hand that big, I'm thinking he's got the welder. And he's playing a second fiery flint. Um, some additions in his deck. So we've got Cramorant V, which is a deterrent to putting down a Dedenne GX. Um, he's got... There we go. All three energy needed for Fireball Circus. Um, he's got Tapu Fini, which does not help in this matchup. Um, Reset Stamp, which yeah, it won't hurt me that much. Um, four Fire Crystal, three Energy Retrieval. He really, he really wants to get his energy out of the deck. Now, this is definitely different from my Baby Blacephalon list. I played it the last Conquest tourney where I had 16 or 15 fire energy. He's got 13. So yeah, you know, with a modest, a, a more modest amount of uh, energy than, than my deck. Yeah, he's got some more ways to get it out of the discard pile. And there we go. No surprise, we got the turn one KO on the Drachi. So I got to get going. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's chuck the metal energy. Let's get ourselves the ADP. Um, yeah, we'll attach there. Um, hmm. 
let's let's just chuck another metal energy. Let's get a Jirachi. We'll switch for the Jirachi. See if we can get a, a um, energy switch. Stella wish and no energy switch. But we've got Metal Saucer. That'll help us. Hmm. Yeah, we'll use it. So yeah, let's uh let's yellow this. Put down the drachi again. And oh man. We really need that energy switch, so yeah, let's just go for it. <laughs> and we whiff it. But we could get it anyway. So yeah, let's try. <laughs> yeah, we've got three in deck. Yeah, let's just up our chances here. <laughs> Thinning is winning. Um, yeah, let's use another. And yeah, let's give him a uh, target for Cramorant. <laughs> and still no energy switch. Mm, that is most unfortunate. Well, let's see if we can get it off of uh, Primate Wisdom. And we do not. Let's um hmm. let's just do another intrepid sword, yeah? We don't got it. That was unfortunate. So after this, so I'm losing this one, right? So after this, I've got to do either this again, or I got to change to the Picaram. So um, what he's, and he's going to play ADP Spirit Tomb. So do I want to play Picaram against Spirit Tomb, or do I want to play this against Spirit Tomb? I'm thinking, I'm thinking I want to play this against Spirit Tomb. So there we go. I don't even have I don't even have the altered creation. And there we go. And what's gonna stop him from getting a Cramorant V? I mean he's drawn almost all of his prizes. Um yeah, let's just let's just keep trying. Oh, and by the way, uh both my water and she are gone, so I can't even alter creation if I want to. So let's here, let's just slow him down with uh, Marty. There we go, and I know let's energy switch from here to here. I mean, if if the Zation dies, it doesn't matter, right? Primate Wisdom, yellow that. Oh gosh, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, I sequenced wrong. Um, yeah, I was supposed to get that Marnie back. Okay, well, um, here, let's just yellow this even harder. And we'll Brave Blade and see what he has for me. So fire crystal, and he just needs three energy to kill myization V.
Oh man. And really just throwing salt in my wound. He's got the uh he's got the bird too, the Oricorio dance of tribute. So if he doesn't get that welder, that would be mighty strange. Looking through the other tournaments, so this is not the only player who's got um, Bliss F1 Unbroken Bonds. Um, I've counted it at least one. Most interesting decks I've seen in the tournament so far. Um, we've got a player who's playing Tina Chomp, Galarian Weezing, and Baby Dragapult. Not Dragapult VMAX. The Dragapult where you have to flip a coin to see if you get to damage it. Um, there's a Melodic deck. There's a Mew Mew deck that has um, some weird attackers and I think Aurora energy. Um, someone's playing Beedrill, I guess, for taking out tag teams. And there we go. My opponent has the Cramorant. And he's going to smack that delicious Dedenne I laid out for him. Let my opponent know I will go first. Game two. Interesting. So there's a there's a Toxtricity V Max. Um, oh oh hey my um, my buddy Omar who I practiced with he's playing Blissephalon on Broken Bonds too. So there's at least three. And there's one Blissephalon GX too, which is Omar as well. And me and Omar have the same record. I was about I was, I was thinking I was about to get paired against him. Oh, and Locke, uh, he brought fossils. Yeah, so there we go. I just read off 10 most interesting decks. Out of the, I think, 17 players, which would be 54 decks total. But so I'm waiting on something. Go get some to eat. Still waiting on my opponent. So I get to go against my opponent's ADP Spear Tomb. Um, so he's got two Shrine of Punishment. That's bad. Um, so let's just assume the ADP is going to die. Um, he's got he's got Super Scoop Up to save his own ADP. Uh, what else do I have to look out for? Um, I mean, Hustle Belt, he's got three of them. So maybe if he attaches a Hustle Belt, I'll play my Tool Scrapper. Uh, let's see, Mew Mew's not that relevant since I don't do bench damage. He's got two bosses order. That could be a problem, especially if I, I put Dedenne's on the bench. 
and he doesn't have enough to KO um, my Zation or my ADP, but he has enough to KO my uh, my Dedenne. Um, I don't have anything to disrupt a turn one or disrupt an early, you know, alter creation. I don't have wait and see hammers. I don't have crushing hammers. Don't have anything like that. Um, he's got great catcher. So he's got three ways to gust stuff off, um, off the bench. So he's got rainbow energy, which doesn't affect my math at all. Because, I mean, max damage I can do is 260. I guess if he has an ADP with 260, uh, you know, damage on it, which... Or 260 HP left. Yeah, I guess that could happen, yeah. Because if he rainbow energies and then plays Shrine of Punishment, then I could do 260 with a uh, Zacian V. Still waiting on my opponent. So, that first match looks like that took uh, less than 15 minutes. Um, and it was uh, pretty <laughs> pretty devastating. Um, I'm sure my opponents practiced uh, the Blacephalon versus ADP. And yeah, it's in ADP's favor. And I don't have anything to counter um, fire weakness, though. You know, you'd still be able to get through fire you know, st still be able to get knockouts even without fire weakness. Baby Blacephalon just hits for those big numbers. I remember when Charizard, base set Charizard, was the, the card that everyone wanted. A hundred was a big number. And just to think, you know, you've got these numbers that are way bigger than a hundred. So here we go. I'm going to play ADP Zation again. Fingers crossed. He had no basic Pokemon. Start with the Zacian. And, okay, wow. We got both shrines. Let's just Cherish Ball. Get that. We'll attach. And yeah, we're not going to worry about the Dedenne. We'll just... Intrepid Sword. And that was a weird Intrepid Sword. I got a Mewtwo and two Jirachi. So, um, unless, I, unless I draw good, I'm just going to have to Dedenne GX here. And... <laughs> And try to get a switch. Now the good news is, since I'm going first, most likely I'm pulling off the uh, the alter creation before he does. Now my opponent has big charm, two of them. That could be a problem. Um, I don't have big charm. You know, my deck is just fast, fast, fast. I just want to get get that turn one ADP um, Ultra Creation, and I want to follow it up with a Brave Blade. Just quick, quick, quick. So my opponent's building up the damage, and hey, let's just cross our fingers and hope he doesn't have uh, energy attachment here because he doesn't seem to be too much in a hurry to get that energy there. There we go. And so, Rainbow Energy, and if he does something else to get another damage counter on the ADP, such as a second Rainbow Energy or a Shrine of Punishment, then it's within KO range of Brave Blade after I do my Altered Creation. All 
Not sure what he was scooping up. The Jirachi, I guess. <laughs> so, he's got the hustle belt. I wonder, 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 wonder. Wonder when that tool scrapper's coming. Actually, I didn't do a thorough deck search. I kind of rushed that that uh, cherish ball search. Um, next turn, I will figure out what exactly is in my deck. Okay, there we go. So his ADP will be in KO range of a 260 damage Brave Blade. When I get it. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> he moved the damage off with uh, with Jinx. So I still don't have a way to get this thing out of active, so. Hmm. Guess I'm going for the Dedenne. Yeah, I've got four switch. I've got the tool scrapper. last ditch this um, let's put in metal saucer see if we can get a switch that is not a switch so yeah let's just attach um, get that oh we can scoop up and try it again yeah let's try it again have the switch no cherish ball mm. yeah let's yellow it 180p that's all we need and fingers crossed and we haven't played our supporter yet all right there we go we got the switch And we won't we won't use our gust yet. We'll want to use it though. Um, oh man! Hold on. Let's do some math here. So we got if we get forty on it, fifty on it, that does one hundred sixty plus that. Auto creation. Oh yeah, and he's not gonna—he's not gonna attack. He's not gonna attack me, with Spirit Tomb, next turn, because <laughs> because he has an alter creation yet. Here we go. Oh yeah, I got some building spike to take care of. And let's just boss his order to take out that threat. Next turn. Clock is on, both of us. 
So yep, let's attach. It's primate wisdom. Alright, don't really need that. Yep, and let's just bring that up. And we'll ultimate ray for two prizes. Power you up. All right, see what happens from here. So, um, unfortunately, unfortunately, my uh, opponent has a nice Dedenne target he can pull up with Great Catcher, and now he's he's KOing it. And that would be mighty odd if he had no way to get Jirachi out of active position. So if I win this game, it's going to be Pikaram versus ADP Spiritum. So I'm kind of I'm kind of out of luck here if if that's what it comes down to. I don't think these these decks were in my favor. All right, let's do some math here. So he's got 270 HP right now. Um, if I hit him with the Brave Blade plus the Shrine, <laughs> now I still lose because I'm only taking three prizes off of it. Oh, man, I wish I had a Giratina right now. That would rock. Okay. Hmm. Um, yeah, and let's just limit his hand. Search for Dedenne. So we'll get the Brave Blade next turn, if I survive. I mean, if he has the uh, great catcher, he can just KO like this guy or this guy, right? For two prizes. Um, yeah, Brave Blade. Excuse me. <laughs> and he's Jirachiing. I guess he's hoping he gets, uh, you know, the custom catcher or the um, or the great catcher, and that'll be game. That'll be the end of the series. Wait, no. All right, and he hasn't supported yet. <laughs> there we go. Wait, is he quick balling for Dedenne? Does he not have a way to get Jirachi out of active? That would be weird. All right. Okay, yeah, he's going to look at the top five cards. He has to have it now. <laughs> yes, and my opponent says that was close. That was close. Oh, 
Okay, and I will congratulate my opponent. So yes, that was um, Obstagoon um, 80, uh, ADP Spiritomb and Baby Blacephalon. Those were my opponent's deck against my Picaram um, ADP Zation and Malamar Trevnoir. I banned his Obstagoon. He banned my Malamar Trevnoir. And you didn't even get to see me play my Picaram because I had to play ADP Zation twice. And that was a close game. Um, I might have had it next turn, but that's just how it goes. He had he had all the material he needed for a knockout um, every turn. And he knocked out a three prize. He knocked out his my ADP. I did not knock out his ADP. So that was a major advantage he had over me despite going second. Um, this is the end to one for game YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. We've got our social media in the video description. Area dose. Goodbye.